Well, here we are. It's uh, Bulldozer Power back in action again. We're on the road this week uh, at the Port Miggins Pirates. Uh, and uh, the lineup has, has changed around a bit. So Mr. On's back in. Uh, Julius Hardwick is in for Steve Mori. And, uh, and Cram Ponce has, has moved in the batting order. Uh, we've got uh, Sir Cramjet pitching for the Pirates. And uh, uh, we've got Ominous Bob, who, as I'm sure you know, is awful. Uh, we're coming off a complete clunker last week, so we're going to be hoping for a little bit better than that. Uh, Cindy Vapid is uh, is going to hope that she can she can turn around something of a slightly better performance because uh, last 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 game she was completely hopeless. Uh, but we'll we'll see how we get on. Anyway, it's ball three, strike one, and uh, and Cindy gets a walk. All right, Cindy already doing better than she did last week, and uh, ah yeah, no the. The times, they are a-changing. Here's Kojak Mr. On back after uh, being wounded. And uh, she's going to see what she can do. I, I don't believe I've played at this ground before. Uh, Kojak there, swinging at a slightly wide one. Uh, probably probably inadvisable. Uh, let's uh, see what's coming next from the round jet. Yeah, you see, that was a ball. That's what you swung at previously. All right, okay. Yeah, take your time there, son. No, no, no. If you want to, if you want to take three quarters of an hour to spool up a pitch. Yeah, okay. Ball two, strike two. Kojak down the line, but foul. Uh, come on, Kojak. Come on. Come on. That one's bad. In all the ways it's possible to be bad, that one was. Uh, double play there, and uh, and that's both Cindy and Kojak going for a sit down. Uh, his failure. Uh, last ditch for the first at no swings at a high one and he's gone okay well Bulldozer power are going to go sit down um, it's okay first inning first inning first inning first inning pitching for us today is ominous Bob and, uh, and he'll be facing off against Ninja what sort of a face is that pumpkin um, and, uh, and ominous Bob is bad he's a bad pitcher uh, so we're going to we're going to be heavily relying on our fielding unit today to make anything happen at all. And Kojak makes a good start. His bum soz, and uh, I mean look, I mean he's he's about ready to I, I don't know do evil by the looks of it. I mean I I had a line in mind there of just how evil, but I felt that it was too evil for me to say. That's how evil uh, I think bum soz is looking. Cindy, Cindy, Cindy. God, oh, just couldn't quite get to it. And uh, that'll be a runner on first. Okay. Right. Here's Julio Lobster. And uh, well, see, we've we've got to make some we've got to make some magic here. That is good enough. Zoltan with the catch. And uh, Crampons picking it up at second. Okay. All right. Two away now. Here's Buttercup Guns uh, with a pout that says, "I'm gonna hit you." And, uh, well, we'll see if she is or not. She probably will. I mean, you know, we've uh, we've got uh, we've got record for, for letting people hit the pitches that we chuck in these days. Uh, form, I think, is what people tend to say. We've got form. Uh, try try a sinker like that. And it's a strikeout. Lovely job. And uh, okay, at the end of one, it is all square. Here's Furious Spongebob. Well, what are, what are we going to do? I don't, you know, we're not going to refer back constantly to last week's game. No, let, let's let's draw a line under that one and just say it was an aberration. Anyway, Furious manages to get on first, and that will bring up Crampons. This is a this is a chancy position for him in the batting order, uh, but I didn't want to put uh, Crampons directly before the pitcher because that just felt like surrendering. Crampons swings long. No, he doesn't. Swings middle distance. It went quite high, if that's any consolation. No, it really isn't. Here's Zoltan. Okay. All right. Zoltan, Zoltan. Yeah. All right. Ball one. Oh, Zoltan. Not biting on that one. Or that one. No. And, I mean, Zoltan does bite on things quite frequently. No, he doesn't like that either. Ball three. And uh, wait for it. Yeah, that was a strike, but no, I wasn't interested. Strike two. That was too high. That was no no way was that a strike. That one was good though. Zoltan getting a piece of it, and he'll get himself out to first base. 
and uh, that's now runners on first and second and that brings up Julius we hate Tim Hardware and uh, look at this stupid face all right well what's he gonna do swings at the first one and gets a hit and uh, and that will uh, that will load the bases up and uh, and uh, well you know all the things all the things that leaves us with paper event horizon to try and turn this into points don't let me down and he's not letting me down that's good and uh, and we'll go for two and we have it uh, two runs batted in there and bulldozer power have broken their duck and uh, are back in business that brings up ominous just to round things out try to get on base ominous normally i say try not to get everyone out but uh, this never mind would have been would have been good to capitalize there but we didn't um oh, that's only out number two. Oh, crumbs oh okay then uh here's cindy i actually got a walk last time uh and uh and he's started away means to go on ramjet is obviously foxed by uh by cindy's demeanor uh can't throw on target that's ball three he's not very accurate as pitchers go strike one allegedly yeah whatever Cindy has a swing at that. That'll bring up the full count. Come on, Cind. And that's a ball. She gets a walk. Bases. Loaded up again. And uh, that leaves Kojak fresh as a daisy to capitalise. Is she capitalising? She is capitalising. And we're away. Go, 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 go. Run, team. Run. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, well, we almost didn't capitalise on that because the team decided, no, I'm not going to bother running. Uh, we could have got a double off that. We only got a single um, because the uh, the time delay, there was obviously some kind of international uh, boundary going on there. Failure going long. Uh, it's no good. It's in the crowd. It's not some poor child unconscious. Uh, but uh, it, isn't, it is failure. It is failure. Yeah, it is. All right, keep track of these things. Also, watch the ball. He's still doing the pitching behaviour. Strike two, ball two, Ulysses failure. Ball three. Okay, Ramjet is not having the best of days, and failure gets a walk as well. Three walks so far, and uh, here's Sponge Bath to try and do something with it. That's solid. All right, everybody, everybody, everybody go, 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 everybody go. Everybody go. And that's glorious. That is the stuff. Here's crampons. We've only got one person left on base. So if crampons does a crampons here, it really doesn't matter. Because we've uh, we've raked in more than enough capital here. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. There's the crampons play. As he hobbles his way out to first, but he doesn't quite make it. Seven runs there uh, for Bulldozer Power at the start of the second inning. And uh, it looks like they came to play there this week. They didn't come to play last week. We haven't changed anything, you know. No, no settings have been interfered with. Uh, Failure's claiming that one. It's his. He's he's taken it. Uh, here's Paolo Condiments. Uh, he's batting 273. Three runs batted in so far this season. Uh, not not the strongest. No. And anyway, that's only got as far as Spongy. It will lob it at first, and that's out. Uh, Cherry Goldrush next, the catcher. Uh, she's uh, well. We're, uh, we're getting we're getting down the batting order now, so so we're into people that realistically aren't all that. Uh, as Cherry Goldrush hits one there that, uh, if it hadn't gone foul, would have been a Holmesville. Yeah. Well, she swung at that one and really shouldn't have. Kojak is going. It's mine. It is hers. And uh, and that's the Pirates. They're dispatched at the end of two. That'll bring up Zoltan Zoltan, who has, in recent seasons, settled down quite significantly to become a valued member of the batting staff. Ooh, nice catch there from Condiments. And he's gone. Valued member of the batting staff, notwithstanding uh, Zoltan is history. Uh, here's flipping hardware. Yep, ball one. No. And uh, Hardware puts one in a difficult position. Will he get there in time? No, he won't. Oh, well, that's because we hate him. Uh, here's, uh, here's Papal Event Horizon. 
Uh, he got a single last time out. Uh, what's he going to do this time? He's going to stand there for a bit. That's going to be out. Uh, but it was a it was a solid effort. Anyway, yeah, uh, we can't we can't always light them up. Sometimes we do. Sometimes we don't. Uh, we've got MSJN next up to bat, uh, and he's uh, he's tense already. He's uh, he's sat there feeling well tense. He's popped that one up. Hardware's gone back for it. He's waving. That means he's got it. And he's got it. That's what the waving means. Uh, here is the pitcher, Turk Ramjet. They're keeping him in. I wouldn't have. I'd have taken him out. He's already stinking the place up and his confidence is all over the joint. Um, but hey, you know, that's, that's their choice to make. They've taken that decision. A strike one. Oh, Bob, come on. You can, you're can you better than this. Don't walk the pitcher, for crying out loud. It's the easiest out you're going to have all day. Uh, strike two. That's good. And he's gone. Yep, go on. Go away. Right, back round to Ninja Pumpkin. Top of the... Oh, don't know. No, we don't need that camera angle. Oh, goodness me. Um, yeah, no, let's, uh, let's not do any more of that. And that will be the 20th pitch there for Ominous. Uh, here we are in the, uh, in the third. So that's, that's pretty good efficiency. Pretty good efficiency, keeping his arm intact. Uh, we obviously will be thinking about a reliever at some point. Cindy's not even close. Failure's got it, though. Uh, and uh, and we, we may be short on relieving staff who are uh, in tippity top form. Uh, I'm feeling I'm feeling Disneyland at this point. We should probably build uh, bring in. Uh, given that uh, Jeff uh, played quite a lot of games the other week. Zoltan throws the third. No, no, no way did he get in. Apparently he did. All right, okay. Here's Julio Lobster. Uh, runners at the corners, two outs. Uh, ominous, how about you finish this off? I'll stop, uh, I'll stop pontificating quite so much. Crampons, 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 crampons. Good, good, good. Okay, uh, at the end of three. Bulldoze past seven, Pirates nothing. Uh, here's Bob coming around for a bat. Bob. Just stand your ground, son. Stand your ground. No rush. No rush at all. Yep. Some of these are going to be on target, Bob, and you don't have to swing at them, but he's gone for it, and he gets a hit. Ominous Bob there. Uh, he's going to make it out to first. Well, when it comes down the middle of the strike zone there in that way, you you really should have a go at it. He did, and it worked. And here's Cindy. Uh, she hasn't had to do very much today other than stand there and then walk a bit. Oh, ow, oh, well, three at bats, three walks with Cindy Vapid. Let's hope that that hasn't damaged her too greatly. Um, and they've got rid of Ramjet, and they're bringing in uh, Placido Winkleson uh, to replace him. Uh, bringing in a reliever in the fourth, clearly times are desperate, and it's Kojak Mister on, who wastes no time in getting out. All right, Kojak, all right, settle down. I mean, I know you're cold because you missed a couple of weeks, but uh, even so, come on, you've got to. We need you back in the back in the swing of things. Uh, that's uh, Ulysses' failure up to bat now. Runners first and second. Failure is going for long, but it's not going for long enough. He's uh, he's toast. Okay, all right, okay, all right, all right, okay. Well, it's Furious Fuss, Furious Fuss, Furious Fuss, Furious Fuss, Furious And uh, he's going to try and hit the ball. Nope. Uh, yeah, no, 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 no. Less, the less said about that inning, the better, and uh, the sides retired. Okay, Buttercup Guns will be uh, will be first up. Yeah, pouting away there, going, come on, I'm going to get you with my pouty face. And uh, Ominous is going, he's having none of it. No. Crampons! <laughs> I mean, you can say his name. Doesn't mean that anything's going to happen. Zoltan, Zoltan will throw it out for um, But that's a, that's a double given up there. Uh, guns there with a double. Uh, here's uh, Tintin Hollywood. Former bulldozer power play, you know. Well, I mean, I say that, but uh, he hasn't played for us in like four seasons now. And uh, he's, he's found a home elsewhere, uh, but never really been remarkable. Which is why we got shot of him. Uh, it's some nice pitching from Bob. Um, it, it, it was a bit unfair for that one just to go straight through half a dozen different flipping fielders, but uh, these things happen. Uh, here's Paolo. All right. 
Uh, what are we talking at the moment? Well, we've got runners at the corner, no outs. Oh. Yeah. It, it felt like we were doing all right, but uh, evidently, not so much. All right. Bob, they're... Oh, no. They're, they're making good progress by just hitting it straight up to centre field, and that will get them off the mark, the Pirates scoring their first run of the day. Here's, uh, here's Cherry Goldrush, and uh, she's going to try and continue to capitalise on that which has gone before. That one's gone foul. Ooh, that one took his head off. And, uh, oh well, that's, you know the risks. You you watch baseball. I mean, you know, you, you should expect. Not a lot happening. Periods, periods of very little. Failure couldn't get to that one. They've, they've queued up a traffic jam of runners. They're going to go for home. And uh, that'll be another run. Uh, seven plays two now. Uh, still no outs here in the uh, in the fourth inning. Uh, ominous Bob needs to pitch less ominously. And that one's that one's gone to a tough location. Failure having a go at that one as well. Uh, they seem to be holding the lead runner at second uh, in order to uh, in order to go for the uh, the sacrificial base advance opportunity should it turn up. And uh, and Bob is not looking confident. Bunt? Don't you bunt on my field, son. Oh, it's not my field, it's their field. No, there is no bunting in baseball. That's for children. I can't hit it properly. I'm just going to pretend to hit it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's ball three. Bob, concentrate, would you? What? No! That was, that was a legit pitch. Well, we gave up a walk there. Uh, whereas Bunty Buntinson there, we could have we could have had them legit. Oh dear! Still no outs, and the bases are now loaded, and uh, the bulldozer power lead is looking perilous. Uh, Zoltan throws straight to home, uh, which stops the secondary advance there. But it's still four runs now conceded. Uh, his bum soz. He's had a pair of singles in the game so far. Uh, Bob. Uh, Either start playing or I'm going to sit you. All right, you give up a hit here and you're gone. All right. All right, ball one. All the pressure on Bob. Failure. Has got one. Well done. Right, it's okay with that. Yeah, we gave up a base advance and we gave up a run and hardware dropped the flipping ball and all of that kind of business. Uh, but we did get an out. All right, okay. You give up any kind of a hit, uh, Bob, and uh, and you're subbed, all right? You can stay in for as long as no more hits are conceded. And uh, that will wrap it up for Bob for today. Um, yeah, and the score is tight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see, you, I see you sat there going like, oh, they've got a seven-run cushion. This is going to be a quiet game. No, no, it's not. Bob, sit down. I'm thinking Disneyland. All right, we're going to Disneyland, everybody, and we'll see if he can't uh, can't reverse the uh, uh, the negative flow that we have on the scoring index at the moment. Uh, good. Okay, that's gone foul. That's strike two. Try on a change up there, Mark. See what you got. That's fouled again. All right. Try on a fastball there, Mark. See if that foxes it. No. No, that's giving up some more. Well, they've got the bit between their teeth. Obviously, the momentum has shifted uh, now in favour of the Pirates, and, and that's not, not what we wanted to see. Uh, it's Hollywoods. Stroke one. Runners, first and second. One out here, still in the fourth inning. Uh, I know you probably went and made a cup of tea or something. It came back. It's an infield fly. Yeah. Okay. Good times. Uh, right, it's Paolo. Okay. All right, two outs now. Mark Disneyland already making more headway in this inning than uh, than his predecessor. I don't know why we let Ominous Bob play. I guess because all the other pitchers are broken at the current time. Uh, he's he's putting in some very tight angles here, Bob, but uh, not Bob, Mark. It's Disneyland. Oh, yeah. I might refer to him as Bob again in a minute. Yep. Kojak can't quite get to that one, but it's gone foul anyway. Come on, Diz, put him out. Put him out of his misery. Put him out of my misery. There we go. Yeah, get off my field. Your field. The field. Ha, ha, 
<laughs> okay, well, both teams now having a, uh, a credible seven-run inning. And uh, that gives us tied scores as we go into the fifth inning. And it's crampons up to try and make the magic. Is that magic, Bernie? Is it? No. All right, ball one. Strike one. Ball one. No cramps. No. 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 Crampons is gone. Here's Zoltan. All right, so we're going to be looking to try and find some of that second inning form. No, that's that's not the second inning form that we're looking for. No, that's uh, second in. No, this is all bad. Here's... Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, we'll see if this clown can do anything. Are you doing anything, clown, other than getting out? No, he's gone. Well, so be it, I suppose. Uh, bottom of the fifth inning now. Cherry Gold Rush up to bat uh, for the uh, for the Pirates, and uh, well, we're on a we're on a razor's edge here as far as scoring is concerned. Uh, obviously, yeah, if we were on a razor's edge in any other fashion, we'd probably be seeking medical attention. That was got to Kojak, who will clean it up. Thank you, Kojak. All right, here's MSJ, and he's got a single so far today. Uh, he managed to get a run batted in as well. See if he can uh, see if he can cause us any trouble. Ideally, no. Yeah, that one's gone foul as well. Disneyland's doing a good job at, uh, at drawing fouls out. Uh, that one's gone up. Sponge, what do you reckon? Sponge, thank you. All right, two outs. Uh, here's Placido Winkelson, the pitcher. Uh, if we were going to kill a pitcher, now would be a good time to do it because they're obviously uh, they're obviously getting down the batting order a little bit. But uh, no, we'll just we'll just take him at the plate, ideally, or take him when he whiffs it. That's a confident thing to say, given how often it is that you give up flipping home runs off pitchers. Yeah, that's good. All right, fox him with a change up. All right, go on him. You didn't fox anybody on that one. No oh, crumbs. How many pitches do you want to use against this joker? Uh, all of them. Put it straight down the middle. There you go. That's something. All right. Zoltan, you got it? He's got it. Okay. Side retired and at the end of five, it's 7-7. Seven, seven. And it will be Papal Event Horizons next to try and break the deadlock. And uh, he's uh, standing there with his bats. Waiting for a pitch that feels lively. That was a semi-lively pitch, but not ultimately lively. Ball three, strike one. Play ball. Nope. And that's foul, so that's the full count. And he's gone for a walk. Yes, look dejected. But learn to pitch, I would say. Uh, here is Disneyland. He's batting 500 this season. That's one of two, I reckon. Oh, that's not a bad hit. It is. Oh, you're right. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it was okay. I mean, look, a solid effort involved there. I mean, he hit better than than some of our big hitters. He's still out, though. Well, yeah. Yeah, here's Cindy. Okay. Oh, wow. Cindy backwards. Doesn't seem to be struggling too much after that. Oh, yeah, John, you flounder. Ah, I was just going to say something nice about it. I'm not going to now. Here's Kojak. All right, Kojak has got on base at least once today, so that's something. And that's not got the mustard. She's gone as well, side to side. Oh, dearie me. Well, someone's got to break the deadlock at some point. Here's Ninja Pumpkin. And his face that looks like a smacked behind. No. That's uh, two no's and a... Uh, Failure, 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 failure. Well, I don't know what he was thinking, but he shouldn't have thought it. No. All right, hardware, gather that up, would you? Well, that's a triple we got off that one. Uh, failure there, not giving any indication that he was going to catch it, uh, and instead did some kind of pirouette up in the air. What are you trying to do? Oh, like that. Oh, he got it. Oh, oh, he stole home. Oh, well, he didn't steal it. He got it off a flipping bunt. Oh, oh just... Ah. You know what I should have done there? Yeah, what? Should have just thrown it to first and taken the easy out. Always take the easy outs. 
Uh, yeah, you would have given up a run, but it's our oh, flipping egg. Um, also, concentrate on the game. All right? Okay, good. Glad we had this chat. Uh, well, okay, it's no longer deadlock now. Cindy, thank you. All right, Cindy Vapids making a, making a catch there. Uh, it is eight play seven. The Pirates there having cheated their way into another run. Oh, oh, Cindy, just a tiny amount more effort from you there and we would have been golden. Uh, okay, and that's another run. Cindy Vapid there, low effort resulting in another run. She could have had that. That that one could have been had. And, uh, and Disneyland now needs to polish this unit off so that, uh, so that we can stop doing this. What now? Oh, hold on. I was... I was foxed by the way I'm still in the base noise. Alright, okay. Bulldoze Power needs to stop playing like a flipping shambles and just get this put away. Uh, the, the shambles has clearly set in. Oh, whatever. And, uh, and the, Migin, the Migins Pirates now are just playing with impunity. They're just kind of going like, oh, we're going to cheeky every base possible. Cindy gets that one. Throw the first, please. Thank you very much. They're dealt with. So all I need you to do, just get them out at first, every single time, and they'll be out at some point or we'll win the game. Uh, Winkelson's going to go sit down, and it's Thirk Minstrel's Bane coming in, but uh, he's already, uh, seems to be a little under the weather. He's pitching to Ulysses' failure, allegedly. That one didn't go anywhere near. Failure pops that one up. He should have just uh, done nothing there. Three fielders having a go for it. And one of them decides to catch it. Spongebath next. Wastes no time. Oh, forces. Forces an error. And uh, gets himself on base. Somewhat fortunate there. Could have been caught, but wasn't so fortunate. Here's Crampons. 0 for 3 today. Making me uh, somewhat question uh, his position in the batting order. Uh, but uh, but there we go. Oh, he crampons with a base hit. Okay, all right. Maybe there's maybe there's some life in this inning yet. Here's Zoltan. Zoltan. Uh, he's the kind of player who can turn things around, but equally the kind of player who can get everybody out. So uh, I said I don't think I've got any players that are immune to getting everybody out, are there? No, not really. No, no. They, they've all done it from time to time. I wonder, actually, I wonder if uh, anyone in the official statistics department uh, can let me know whether I do have a player who's never got everybody yeah. out. Yeah. I wonder. See, I need a statist... Bulldozer Power are currently recruiting for a statistician who wants to go through every game we've ever played and, uh, and pull together some factoids to drop into the show. Apply within. Uh, hardware there gets a hit, and that will load up the bases. Oh, good. And uh, and as a result, it falls to Papal Event Horizon to try and sort this out. Minstrel Bane is done, and Scooter Override's coming in. They're, they're going through the uh, the depth of their pitching uh, bucket uh, to try and fish out something that can do the things that it needs to. All right, Papal's not in a hurry here. Two balls, one strike so far. That's ball three. A walk here would be delightful. And there it is. <clears throat> All right. Walked with bases loaded, and that gives us a run. Here's, uh, here's Disneyland. What inning are we in? Hang on. Uh, seven. Take him out. Oh, well, we can't. All right. Come on, Mark. I believe in you. Oh, Mark. Oh, Mark. Oh, Mark. Swung at a low one, and, uh, and we lost everything. And by the time I decided that I might have been tempted to substitute him, it was too late, and the game was being played. Here's MSJN. Uh, Bulldozer Power now 8. Port Miggins Pirates 9. Well, Disneyland needs to make amends. Yeah. Does he? It wasn't his fault you took so long to decide to sub him. Well, alright. Well, look. Let's put it this way, then. Uh, we... Uh, he has been left in. And therefore, we need to... Uh, we need to make him count. Alright. Well, that wasn't counting, was it? No, it wasn't. No. His... Uh, his sc scooter override's gone. I, well, I question the uh, question of the the, the, the uh, suggestion there, but they brought in uh, uh, Barabbas Void as a uh, as a pinch hitter. All right, strike one. 
This is some decent pitching coming out of Disneyland. Yeah. 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 Come on. Come on. Zoltan with the catch. Yeah, you tried to steal a base, but no, nothing doing. A bit of a dubious throwback there from Zoltan, but uh, uh, the upshot is the same. It's Pumpkin. And, uh, well... What? Nothing. Just, well... Failure is in the zone and has out number two. Uh, that's okay. Right, okay, right. Come on, settle down, everybody. We're only trailing by one, and this inning is going acceptably so far. Uh, it's Bum Soz. Uh, a solid hitter today for him. Um, and uh, we'll uh, we'll just have to try and uh, try and stop that here. That one's gone into a, a sensible sort of location. If anyone can get to it, Papal looks likely, and it's got it. All right. Okay. All right. So we're uh, we're losing Barabbas Void, the uh, the pinch hitter, and we've got Willie Fanfest coming on instead. And uh, well, he's he's not a he's not a sterling pitcher, but uh, that means nothing if we don't hit any of his pitches. Cindy Vapid at bat right now. Ball two, strike one. Cindy's uh, waiting for something that looks possible. Ball three. There's strike two. She should have swung at that, really. But she was waiting for that instead. Uh, Cindy there, going for another stroll. Good times for her. Uh, here's Kojak. All right, no outs. Uh, Cindy on first. No, she's not going anywhere. She's just staying on first. You can calm yourself there, Fanfest. Strike one. That was pretty much dead in the middle of where I had my bat-hitting lozenge. But we opted not to do the bat-hitting thing. Strike two. I don't know what Kojak's waiting for. These are some fair pitches. Oh, I see. You, you were waiting for a terrible pitch. Ah, ah, I like your thinking. No, no, hang on. I don't like your thinking. Your thinking's rubbish. His failure. He's had no hits today, but he has been walked once. And today is... Oh, okay. Oh, I thought that was caught. Uh, but a low effort play there by the third baseman means that failure advances to first. Giving us two runners up there. And Furious, who has been doing... No, oh, no, they've had enough of FanFest. And they're bringing in Charlie two shots. Well, they're going through the uh, through the scrapings of the bottom of the barrel of hatred and death uh, to, to find a pitcher who can do something. And uh, that looks promising. Keep going, everybody. No, it's more of promising. There you go. Mr. Home Run himself doing some home runs. No, that was, it was Furious. Oh, yeah, it was Furious. I thought it was paper. Yeah, you always get them confused. Oh, it doesn't really matter, does it? No, it doesn't, because he's in. And we've we've taken the lead back and gone in your face. Here's Crampons. And uh, Charlie Two Shots is rattled. He's not rattled anymore. Crampons just uh, just gave him a freebie. Something we all like. Uh, here's Zoltan. No. No, no. Come on, Zoltan. Come on, Zoltan. Come on, Zoltan! Well, that one's gone... Don't, I don't think that one's going to land anytime soon. He's uh, he's swinging early at these, and uh, on that one, no, Sultan's absolutely fuming. Ice, oh, he's, he's not delighted. Uh, but Bulldozer Power now back in the lead. Uh, Eleven plays nine here, moving into the bottom of the ninth, and it's Julio Lobster who's going to try and turn things around and bring them back into the game for the Pirates. Uh, but this has been a back and forthy kind of a game so far. Disneyland still showing a reasonable amount of stamina at the moment, but uh, that could change anytime soon. Uh, I think if he gives up a big play, we'll uh, we'll sit him down. Out number one. Here's Buttercup Guns and a double and a single from her four at bats today. No, you anticipated that, but did you anticipate it would be off target? Huh? Yeah, that's the question. All right. Here's Disneyland. Yep, hardware couldn't keep hold of it, but it didn't really matter. He just ignored it. Bounced out of his glove and he pretended it hadn't. That one's over the fence. Oh. That was the lowest effort home run I've ever seen. I mean, that's a straight trajectory if ever I saw one. Buttercup guns there. Uh, second home run of the year. Cutting the bulldozer power leads to one. Would you call that a big play? 
Oh, that's a good question. You did say you'd sit him off a big play. I'm not sure that was a big play particularly. It was just a good hit. Uh, although Disneyland is looking absolutely, absolutely hammered at this point. All right, let's put this batter away and, uh, and then sub him. Cindy with another piece of low effort fielding. And uh, yeah, no, you see, you've done that twice today. Thrown to home instead of second. Always throw to second. And uh, and then we'll work it out from there. Uh, his condiments. Strike one. Look, Diz, if you could get through this inning, because you're up to bat pretty soon. Crampons. And that's a good one. All right, two outs now. Cherry Gold Rush, uh, next up to bat. Not the strongest batter on the team, uh, but uh, Disneyland's failing fast. Strike one. All right. Strike two. Okay, good, 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 good. Sink this one. Oh, that's not so good. Uh, that one's going foul. No, no one's getting to that one. All right. See if we can fox them out on a change up. You never know. There it is. Okay, and uh, and Disneyland did just enough there to uh, to to get the job done. Here's Julius Hardware. Okay, we we're, we're going to need some uh, we're going to need some insurance here, Hardware. And that's not the kind of insurance we wanted. No, that's that's pet insurance. That's not scoreline insurance. Here's Event Horizon. Okay, ball one. Oh, and one of the best hitters on the team there. Not doing so well. Two outs. Disneyland up to bat. He goes, I'm ready. I'm up for it. I'm up for it. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm going to sit down. Uh, Will Brit uh, well, Hammock hasn't done so well, you know. I'm going to go with Lim Mephisto. Uh, Lim Mephisto's coming. Ready. We don't see her very often. Uh, what's she batting? 333 uh, in the season so far with one run batted in. Strike one, ball two. A little early on the swing there, and that one's gone foul. That one's solid, though. That one's gone up the centre field. All right. Okay. The dream is still alive, and uh, we're still playing baseball. Here's Cindy Vapid. Three walks and a hit by pitch for her today. Um, yeah, that's, I mean, I don't know if that's a stat to be proud of, but you know, she's uh, she's not had any swings and misses. Well, one, maybe. I'll do it. <clears throat> Actually swings at the ball for once and gets herself out. Uh, who should we finish it with? As Prod looking. Prod's looking solid. All right. Prod's in. And that way, if we go to extra inning, I've got, uh, I've got conservative in reservative. All right. Cattle Prod. Needing to put the team away. And we can have a, we can have a walk off here. All right. Come on, Prod. I believe in you. 4 2. Yeah. Still only strike one. Yeah. That's okay. If he fouls them all out, I'm I'm okay with that. Try a try a higher one. That's too high. But it's good. Cal Prod there with a strikeout. And uh that's one done. Alright. Here's two shots the pitcher. Are they gonna sit him? They are. Uh, they're bringing in plastic vicar who, for some reason, they haven't been playing all day. But, uh, well, whatever. He's an A-rated batter. Uh, but be oh, I see. That's why. All right, first pitch. One swing. Dealt with by Cindy Vapid. Here is Ninja Pumpkin. He's got a triple, two singles, a run batted in. Uh, we don't want to walk him. I mean, I'm thinking of an intentional walk here. Uh, to bring up a softer batter, but honestly, I'm not going to. We're gonna we're gonna trust in the prod to uh, to prod. Uh oh, no, that's okay. It's gone fat. All right, now another one of those. This is it for all the marbles. Not quite, but it's good enough. And Oscar Cattle Prod gets the job done, and uh, that will be a victory for Bulldozer Power. Uh, much needed, hard fought, and a close run thing. Um, yeah, bit of back and forth going on, and uh, it was only in the eighth inning that we managed to uh, secure the victory. Uh, remarkable today, uh, bonus bases for, for Cindy Vapid there. Uh, that's, I mean, that's impressive work. That's going to do her on-base percentage, the power of good. Uh, the Pirates went through every picture they had, and they all stunk. Yeah, 
Uh, so the win goes to uh, Mark Disneyland. Unsurprisingly, Ominous Bob was awful, and uh, Oscar Cattleprod lands the save. Your three stars, it's Furious Sponge Bath. Uh, four or five hits, uh, two baser. Yeah, six runs batted in. Yeah, nice. Papal apparently gets a nod as well. I don't, I don't think he deserves it. And Buttercup Guns, of course, for the Pirates. At this point, I would just like to go, What? Apparently, there are now 29 games to watch. What? Uh, yeah, those. There's 29 games to watch. All right, well, let's let's go. No, I, I could just simulate them all. No, let's just uh, let's get it going. Uh, this is the uh, the what of City Axeman against the Chroniclers. Axeman win. All right. What we will do is we'll we'll cut down on the uh, on the color commentary between uh, between games. That was the Pathfinders beating someone. All right, Space Agency All Stars, uh, All Stars, and it's neck and neck. All Stars with the win. Uh, okay, and then we've got the Space Agency against the Pirates. Oh, have we now? Yeah, we have. Uh, there we go. Space Agency just giving the Pirates an absolute whipping. Uh, next, Minstrels Inc. Okay, uh, it's one one. No, it's four two. Minstrels won that game. Well done, everybody. Uh, next up, Failurewood Hills against the uh, Sunshine Foonboos. Uh, the Foon Boost, leading for a little while, but Failurewood Hills coming back and uh, knocking it up and sticking it away. Minstrels are playing Cheerio Inc. And, uh, well, uh, the Minstrels have won the game. That's fascinating. The Minstrels are now playing the Chroniclers. Okay. Why are we not getting to play for so long? I don't know. We'll have to look into that in a minute. Minstrels just won. There you go. They are. You're welcome. Uh, here's Cheerio Inc. against the Sports Ball Union. Sports Ball Union with a two-run lead to start off with. Managed to hold on to it. And uh, they're now five and seven. That's still not good enough. Sports Ball Union in action again against Cheerio Inc. Yeah. Cheerio Inc. holding on for the lead. Or holding on to the lead and winning the game. Uh, 19 games to go. Stardozer versus the All-Stars. And uh, Stardozer nailed it. Uh, Sunshine Bunbus against the Steganauts. Three runs for them in the first inning, uh, but the Steganauts fight back to win that 6-5. to five. Uh, It's the Nomads against Peninsula Transport. We haven't seen Peninsula Transport in ages. Oh, I wonder what they've been up to lately. I don't know. I don't even know if they won that one. I think they did. Uh, the Beekeepers beat the Hills 1-0. Uh, fine. Uh, wait, what? Wait, what? No, no, it's fine. Bulldozer Power is the name of your team. That sits there all the time. Um, okay. Peninsula Transport now taking on the Medics. Peninsula Transport, big lead. Medics coming back, but not enough. Okay. Failurewood Hills are taking on the Ob City Axemen. And uh, Failurewood Hills are dominating. The Axemen tried to come back, but couldn't quite cut it. Failurewood Hills now taking on the Axemen again in the rematch. Uh, and uh, Faber Hills won that one as well. Oh, the Ob City Axemen are going to be bitterly disappointed having lost their lead of the division. Faber Hills are up again in the next one against the Minstrels. Okay, all right. There's some very strange scheduling going on here. Uh, the Hills won that one, and the Hills are on something of a winning streak. In fact, they're just what are we? Are they just playing all their games now? Well, whatever. They're at the top of the division, uh, and. Uh, Oh, that, a big game against Cheerio Inc. They lost it eventually, but uh, but that was back and forth stuff. Colonel Scholar playing the Wretched Nomads. The no, they're just they're just Nomads. They're not Wretched. The Minstrels are Wretched. The Nomads are just Nomads. Ten four, you got it. Linger Blend All Stars against Grazer Ridge. Uh, Grazer Ridge, there scoring runs sufficient to win the game. Uh, here are the Beekeepers, 10-1 and one against the 7-5 and five Steganauts. Steganauts not out of the running just yet, but they are playing the best team in the league. And uh, they, they tried something, but the Beekeepers went, no. The uh, Linger Blend All-Stars against Grazer Ridge. Uh, Linger Blend are probably done this year, but Grazer Ridge are still fighting, although that's taken a knock now. They just lost that game. The Beekeepers in action again against the Axemen. Beekeepers, look at them go. They're just absolutely smashing everybody. Still only one loss for them this year. All-Stars against the Pirates now. And uh, a 4 nothing win for the All-Stars. The Pirates are stinking the place up some in Rotten. Four games left to go. Colonel Skull against Stardozer Human Resources. Stardozer with an early lead. Uh, but it's close stuff. They did manage to hold on to it, though. 
Colonel score now against uh, Grazer Ridge. Colonel Skorl in a commanding position to make the playoffs. And uh, a commanding position in the game early on. And they did help hold off the advance of the Grazer Ridge team late on in there. The Medics are taking on the Lingo Blend All-Stars. And won it in a game that was played. Finally, we have the Stardozer Human Resources against the Bumps and Medics. And uh, the Medics are, are, are leading. Wait. There you go. Eight to six. Crikey, we got through a lot there, didn't we? Uh, so, next up, we got Bulldozer Power in game 13 of the season for them uh, against uh, Grazer Ridge, who are currently five and nine. Uh, Bulldozer Power, nine and three right now. Let's look at the standings. And, uh, well, they're one game ahead of Peninsula Transport, uh, who are tied for games played, actually. So, uh, so I think everybody else just had to catch up with us. Possibly. Um, yeah. Uh, the Bumps and Medics and Lingo Blend All-Stars are on six wins at the moment. Is their season done? No, because there's still plenty of games to play. Uh, Bulldozer Power ahead by one game. They need to win this next one. In the Woodchipper Division, Stardozer Human Resources and Colonel School are tied. Three games ahead of the Nomads. So it's probably going to come down to a two-horse race between them, or in fact a two-team race, given that they're not horses. In the Whoop Whoop division, Failywood Hills are out front, ahead of the Off City Axemen, who have a game in hand. Uh, behind them, you've got Red Star, Pathfinder, Sunshine, Fun Bus, and Erg Melonflex Chroniclers, none of whom are likely to make postseason. In the Sloganator, it is the Beekeepers, 12 and 1. 12 wins, 1 loss. Uh, ahead of the Minstrels and Steganauts. Steganauts almost at 50-50 now, 7-6. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to make it, but they could. They might, they might not, they could. It's unlikely, but we'll see, won't we? Hope to see you next time. I've been Colonel Failure, this is Electro Sports TV. And you're watching it with your face. Mm -hmm. Cheerio.